everybody a big yo yo what up y'all welcome back to another one tell them what up y'all welcome to another one <laughs> what are you munching on big duck chill everybody donut. at home donuts you got some donuts you got a sprite you ready to go mm -hmm. it's my boy and we got Frederick. yeah we got freddy freddy boy what are you doing you being a good boy ready to go. A little tired this morning. Go! Oh, we are on the road. Um, it is 629. Shooting light is 722. And um, we're going to be right on time. We're going to have about 30 minutes, 35 minutes to set up. Uh, we are hunting a uh, pretty small, about medium sized uh, farm pond. It's actually a highway pond. Uh, you know when they build overpasses for highways uh, right next to them, uh, there's a hole usually with water in it. And this is an old one, a really old one. Um, it's a pond. This is the second year I've leased it. Last year I didn't hunt it. I've never actually hunted this pond. So this is a really special day. Bodie, myself, and Frederick, us three have never been on a water duck hunt. Just us three. Uh, Bodie has never been on a hunt and watched Fred. Uh, work in the water um, and this is the first time for all of us to hunt this pond together so extremely special day um, all the new ducks gear guys check that hat out hoodies I have a Bobby's bundle right here check it out Bobby's bundle uh, regular price $190 you can save a ton of money uh, discount price $129 uh, it's got all my favorite ducks gear in there um, and I'll show you some other stuff. I brought my new acrylic ducks calls, uh, some other stuff. But I have to, uh, we're getting ready to park here. I gotta unload the side by side, load the side by side up with all of our gear and decoys. Um, but ducks is always linked down below in the description uh, at the top of that bad boy. And always, always, always remember to use code Bob at checkout to save yourself some money. You got a full mouth of donut. No. Oh, it looked like you did. Alrighty, I got Freddy and Bodie hooked up. Check out the rig. We got uh, Fred's dog blind. Uh, we got one panel blind. Uh, we got six goose floaters. We got a dozen ducks mixed with, check these bad boys out. These are the new floaters from Ducks Waterfowl Baby. Check that out. These should be available beginning of November. I will let you guys know. We will have uh, Drake Mallards and Hen Mallards as of right now. Here's the Hen. Good looking decoy. Big wide back on top of them. But a mixture of Teal, Mallards. We're ready to go, boys. Oh, here we are. We are sat up. Uh, we have a decoy situation. They have moved. That means the weights are not long enough to touch the bottom. I was afraid of that. This is first time hunting this pond and it is deeper than I figured. So they are gonna be continuously scattering out where they wanna go, wherever the wind blows them, that's where they're gonna go. But uh, here she is, gorgeous morning. There is zero, and I mean zero wind right now. Can you see me in that screen, Bodie? Zero wind right now, we're sitting at 7.13. Uh, shooting light is 722. Remember guys, uh, across the nation uh, for waterfowl, pretty sure across the nation, I don't think it switches per state, but you might want to look at your state. Uh, you can shoot 30 minutes before sunrise. So best thing to do, a little tip, if you're new to the game, um, best thing to do the night before the hunt is to go on Google, type in sunrise. When it comes up with do not allow or allow location, allow location, and then it'll pinpoint your location and give you the exact sunrise time for the next morning. Um, and then you just shave 30 minutes off of that. That's when you can pull the trigger. Now, in the evening, again, a lot of you guys know these rules, but this is for the beginners and the green wings. Um, in the afternoon, sunset. It's at sunset, you're done. Not 30 minutes before, not 30 minutes after 
at sunset is when you have to stop shooting for waterfowl. So this rule pertains for waterfowl, not everything else. Uh, we got Freddie and his blind looking good. We got Bodie loaded up and ready to roll. Wish us luck. Hopefully this floating around decoy situation doesn't uh, com completely biff up the hunt. Uh, the decoys that are close to the bank are staying, but the ones I chucked out a little farther are not. <laughs> you ain't going on a hunt without me. What about school this season when I'm guiding? I'm just gonna skip school then. Bodie Allen! I don't know if Mama will let you do that. Well, I wish I could skip school. Oh. Uh, all of my old subscribers that's been here since day one. Um, what a wonderful time having my little buddy with me. I was thinking about that walking into the uh, Walking into the quick shop this morning, uh, my little buddy, my little man, completely capable of not only shooting ducks, but helping me set spreads. Uh-oh, something just landed and took off. Either that or it was a fish, Bodie, one of the two. Um, but my little buddy, my son, just my little tag teaming buddy, man. It's so fun. I love it so much. Um, the channel's grown into something special and I really want to say thank you before we get started here to all of my long-term subscribers and all my new ones, but all my long-term ones that's been here since day one and seen uh, the growth of the channel and the guide service come along and everything. And, and I know the channel's changed a little bit, but this aspect, me and Bodie, is very important to me and um, um, it's something that we're going to nurture and grow here on the channel and just kind of spread awareness of take a kid hunting, you know, and... and um, just having fun in the outdoors and, and passing along the tradition. Um, so thank you all for, for being here. Look at this, up top, bub. From the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. This is a very special hunt for me, for Fred, and for Bodie. All right, we're legal. I could shoot from the hole. Oh. Two pintail just decoyed. They land over there. They landed over there. Two beautiful pintail. We're ready to shoot. You ready? Easy with your gun. What? Easy with your gun. Right here. Look. Mallards. Where'd they go? Well, it is... 746 for goodness sakes um, right at 722 at shooting light two pintails were right in our face it was like right at shooting light like on the second and since then we haven't seen we've seen two mallards but nothing decoy that whole time before shooting light we had ducks constantly then right at on the minute shuts off so we still got these two pintails down yonder. We're gonna try to go walk them out, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Might as well. Hold on, take a knee. Come on. Geese, hurry, 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 hurry. Specs. <laughs> you getting bored? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Uh, Bodie just asked the bad question. Dad, when are we gonna leave? We got Fred here now. I have to use this candle, standing it up on end. My GoPro battery died. 
I forgot the rest of the batteries in my truck, so we're filming with the big camera. Got it posted up here. Hopefully we shoot something. Now, when we pulled in this morning um, with the side-by-side -side to the pond, um, scouting it yesterday, there was probably 40, 50 ducks mixed. Teal, mallard, pintail, some woodies. Um, and when we pulled up, I was really hoping that there wouldn't be any birds on the water this morning, you know, but they did, in fact, roost on it overnight. So we kicked up probably 30, 40, 50 birds, 30, 40, I bet, birds when we came in and sat up early morning. So I was really afraid of that. Um, a lot of times when you bump birds early, early a.m., it's very iffy if they come back or not because you shoved them off, you know, so... Um, that's why I tried to wait. We got here, you know, 20 minutes. Started setting up 20 minutes before shooting light. The earlier you can cut that down, the more it helps. But um, we're waiting. Uh, There's a flock of specks, uh, about a 15 flock of specks. They are traveling. We worked them down with the old Canada Ducks call. This bad boy right here. It clucked them. Clucked them. Didn't even have a speck call. You can tell they're really vulnerable, but that's the acrylic goose call, and I love it. And here is the matching acrylic duck call. Um, beauty. Single reed, acrylic. Uh, love it. Love it, love it. My call will be coming out shortly, and it's a freedom bred beauty. You're going to love it. You haven't seen the duck call yet, have you, bub? Yeah, I designed it. But all kinds of new duck calls and everything over at Ducks Waterfowl. Uh, DucksBucks.com. Uh, use code Bob like I was saying. On top of, I want to show you this. For everybody that hasn't seen it, before we possibly shoot something, hopefully. We got Freddy. You're not what I'm referring to right now. But this bad boy, the Otis Arms 12 gauge. This is the Carbon Elite model. And if you use code Bob25 at checkout at Otis Arms dot com it's always linked down below in the description look how pretty she is she is a beaut carbon fiber got the ducks choke on the top the golden tooth yeah buddy code bob25 at checkout otisarms.com it's always linked down below you will save 25 percent off uh which accumulates into 450 dollars fred 450 bucks you will save on one shotgun from Otis if you use code Bob 25 that's amazing Is that pretty cool we're gonna have to get you one when you get just a hair bigger <laughs> you like your 410 though don't you yeah think we're gonna shoot something you when do we get home I I really want to shoot my 22 oh you do you've yeah. been saying that we'll shoot it it's little but it's mighty it's little but it's mighty <laughs> Bodie just came out with a new invention. Tell him what it is. It's a firework that puts it, you put it on the water and, and it lights up. Then it sounds like a certain duck. So it's a firework that you put on the water and when it goes boom, it doesn't boom, it quacks? Yeah. That's a good idea, Bob. I think you just hit the nail right on the head. We're going to be rich after that idea, huh? Look at the camera, bub. Yeah. Everybody wants to see your pretty smile, boy. That's my boy. Did you eat all your snacks already? You keep yawning like that. You're going to make me tired, dude. <laughs> well, I'm already getting tired, so. You're already getting tired? Yeah. Well, don't be getting tired on me. we got to shoot a bird or five. What, uh, what are you snacking on over there? Show everybody your blind snacks for the day. Oh, you got it in your pocket? <laughs> what is it? This. What's that? It's a uh, juice and it's a uh, stick that's uh Sour juice? Yeah. Where's your donuts? You still got donuts in there? And a Sprite? This is what Dad brought. I brought me a Nutrageous and a Cherry Pepsi, baby.
<laughs> Are you getting bored? Yeah. He's been destroying sticks and leaves. He's just getting that look. <laughs> oh, Bodie, you crack me up. Gotta let him have fun. I was afraid of that, that we were gonna come in here, the birds were gonna be on here, you blow them off, sitting up, and then blows my mind how um, right at 722 those pintail pintail decoyed right in our face beautiful sprigged two studs both drakes um, at 721 in probably 50 seconds we're probably like 10 seconds away from actual shooting light and then all before that for about 15 20 minutes before that it was nothing but we had some teal come in we had some mallards come in we had some other pintail come in the amount of birds that decoyed be right before shooting light was definitely i i could have definitely shot my shot my limit for sure we just don't have a ton of birds yet um it's starting to get cold wednesday is supposed to be a major cool down at night it's supposed to be in the 30s they're they're on out so uh with the lows at night being down in those 30s uh, we should be picking up some birds. Seeing that 15 flock of specks and how easy they were to break down with a Canada goose call tells me that they're moving. They're moving in. They're coming. They're moving in from a, from the west northwest, and that is that is normal. That is uh, that's telling me that we are on the brink of getting a bunch of birds. So, which mind you, it has been um, a lot warmer this season than last season. Last season. On duck opener, um, yeah, duck opener, um, it was on this today, on, well, was it? Mm, yes, it was like 30 degrees um, with, with like a west wind and cold. It was cold, cold. Might have been down in the 20s that morning. Uh, but we were just normally, we had rain, we were wet. We had systems from the north rolling in and uh, pushing birds. Now we, we really don't. Now it's uh, back to normal, blue bluebird skies, uh, fair weather, and gonna wait on our calendar birds and hopefully Wednesday um, the situation starts changing abruptly. Up top, up top. He was hauling the mail. He was traveling for sure. Oh, geese on the left. Don't move. Get ready. Just don't move. Sit. Sit, Fred. Geese are coming. Just don't move. Where? On the left. Don't move. They're coming. Don't move at all. Sit. Shoot that little one. Okay. Man, I thought I was gonna be able to get him. Dang it! They probably would have landed if we would have let him, but I did not want to chance it. Darn it! Ah, Bob. Shots ammo. Use code Bob at checkout to save. Bad boys. I'm gonna switch out of the number fours. Put in the number twos. Because if that flock came, maybe we'll have another flock of geese come. Don't move, don't move. Here he comes. Get ready, get ready. Shoot him. Shoot him. There we go. Woo hoo hoo! Fred! Yeah! <laughs> Give me a high five. He got a big yeah! Spot. Big high five. Come on. Switch that shell out, bub. Yeah! Let's Go. Woohoo! There we go, bub. Finally. Heck yeah. Good dog. Woohoo! Oh, me right in the face. Come on, y'all. Did it? Yeah. Woo! Red's on it. Good boy here. Good 
Good boy. Look at him go, bub. <laughs> that was awesome. Give me some nuts. Yeah. Came right in there, didn't he? That must be a long story. I think it's a hen pintail, I believe. That, that must be a long story. Come on, Frederico. Come on, Fred. Good boy. You tearing it up out there, Fred. Yeah, he is. Good boy. <laughs> Come it's, on. It's funny when you swim. Yeah, isn't he cute? Yeah. Come on. Let's go. That's a good boy. Like good boy, up. yep. Here, hold it. Good boy. Oh, don't get my camera wet. Here, drop. Look at that. Hen pintail, bub. Check Dang. it out. That's here you cool. go. Carry it back. If you don't want to. Okay. Let's get back in here. Maybe we'll get another one. That was awesome. Good job, friend. That's a good boy. Yeah, look at that. Hen pintail. That's a good boy. Get your lick him. Get that taste in your mouth. Yeah. Man, I missed that first shot. I didn't know if I was going to catch up to him. I think your shot was real close. Wasn't it? I shot right in front of him. Darn. I wish you would have got him. But we got him, didn't we? That was a team effort. He's a big guy. That's a girl. That's mm -hmm. a that's a hen. They are long ducks. See how long their necks are? Mm -hmm. Pintail's necks are really long, so that's how you identify them in flight. And then their butts, see they kind of got a pin to them. Mm -hmm. The males have a long pin on them. And, and the, the females just have a short pin on them. Bub, huh. that is our first pintail together, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Especially with Fred Fred. I don't think we've got a mallard together before, have we? Mm-mm. Wait. Yeah, we, I think we have. Oh, yeah, we did the last hunt. Uh-oh, what's this? Two pigeons. Can I try to shoot a pigeon? Yeah. Right up top. Try them. I'll get them. Do I hit him? Hey, I'm going to take a shot. Yeah, they were past the center. Watch your barrel. Two pigeons. <laughs> Hold on, so Bodhi... Bodie Dunn figured it out, figured out how a shotgun shell works, and he's gonna tell you. So you cock, you put the your bullet in the gun, then you cock it. Then once the hammer hits this part right here, uh, the gunpowder lights up. Then it gets little rocks in there hot. Then the rocks explode. Then this knocks out. Then uh, the if you have steel in your bullet, it comes out. Then that's how it shoots. Goes down your barrel really fast, don't it? Yeah. Good job. You just kind of put that all together, didn't you, buddy? Mm hmm That's how it goes. You're pretty sure you hit it on the head, bub. But they're not rocks. They're steel little BBs in there, right? Yeah. And the hammer hits right in that spot. And tell everybody why you have to use steel for ducks and geese and not lead. Because lead, if you shoot a duck, then lead goes in the water, then water... Lead is toxic for water, so then if the lead goes in the water, it'll make the water toxic. That's right. Perfect job. That's my boy. Everybody give a big old thumbs up for Bubba. He wants to learn all the rules, all the whys, all the hows. You're on it, buddy. I'm proud of you. Extremely hard mode on me. I go extremely hard mode on it. You broke that tree all the way down to the ground, bub. You showed him who's boss, didn't you? Get him! Get him, Duke! Get him! Get him, Duck! There you go. You done with him? Hey, gotta let him let him have fun. He's out here with Dan. He is not stuck on a tablet, stuck in front of YouTube, stuck on a video game console, stuck on a Game Boy or a Nintendo or anything like that, a PS4. He's out here hunting and enjoying nature with his dog. And his dad. Hold on, hold on. Try to shoot him. Oh. What is that? Cover your ears. Bub, every single time that happens. <laughs> Don't break a tooth on them things. I literally just stood up. Check it out. Just stood up. Haven't seen a duck in I don't know how long. Put the dog blind out here. Just started trying to tear down. There's a duck right in her face. 
Should we wait it out? Okay. Huh? You don't know? It is going on 9.30. Every time, every single time you try to pick up, you call the hunt, here comes the birds. Every single time. Just on the last video I posted of all three boys hunting on youth opener, same exact thing. Boating pool. We just had over 50 mallards land. And we're picking up decoys. Which one? Are you kidding me? That was insane, Bodie. <laughs> Maybe when we go to the side. That side. is unbelievable. Maybe when we go to the south side. Get ready. Don't move. If you're gonna shoot first, okay? Get ready, just don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Shoot him, Bodie. Go down. Oh, he's going he's, down. Yep. Yeah. He is. He landed. He landed. He hurt. Reload. That's a mallard down. Fred, go. Fred, you're in my way. He's all right. We just got a mallard down. We had to sit back down. We picked up all the decoys in front of us. Sat back down. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's gone. exactly what happened. You no, know, we were what we were. We had two mallards land. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I was like, forget it. We're just gonna keep picking up. We were walking to the side of the side, and I looked back and I kissed, and I said, Bodie, look. There was like 50 or 60, all mallards and pintails landing across the whole thing. We snuck back, sat down, loaded our guns, and that's one green head down. It is 9.38 when they're all coming back. Now we know. It's cause they're back. It's yeah, now it's later in the morning, they're coming back to loaf. That's what you call a loaf, bub. It's cause they just don't like, they saw us here, they know we were here. Now what, now Yep, they think, think we're gone, gone, huh? That's yeah. right. That's We're going to sit here a minute, see if we can shoot some more. Come on. Peel. I'm gonna be right back here. Well, I hear specs. Yeah. You hear that? Yeah. Oh speck. my god! That's a big migrating flock of specs. Holy moly. Oh, good job, down. Fred. Here. Here. Oh, look at that, Bob. We got a green wing tail. <laughs> Woohoo! Let's go. <laughs> Give me nuts. That's my boy. Yeah, we gotta go get that mallard. We gotta go get our mallard over there, a green head. Okay, you got, um, hey, grab, no, set, Fred. Grab two shells, put them in your pocket. Okay. What about three? Yep, that's fine, two or three. I'm gonna do the same thing. And we're gonna go. He has to be alive. We're gonna go down to the end of the pond, take Fred, try to round up our green head here. He has to be not alive. Talk about just a crazy ending. Now I know the flight, man. 9.30. Next time, I'm not even coming early. 
I'm gonna come at like 8, 8.30, and we should pound them out. We'll be back, see if we can get this green head. Well, there we go. Massive. We got him. We got our big green head. Look at him. Curls for them girls, that is a stud muffin. What do you think, buddy? That's awesome. Had to wring his neck a little too hard because he would not. We chased him around this entire pond. I it's took, a big pond. I took three extra shells, went through them all, trying to shoot him. Same. He kept diving, yeah. Bodie went through three shells trying to shoot him on the water. He kept swimming and diving on us. Diving on Fred the whole time. Fred finally got him over here in the weeds, but big O. Look at that. Big old curl on him, bub. He needs to finish what he's doing, but... I want to get, shoot him. Just sit him down on the ground. I can't believe it. I want you to just sit him on the ground. The I'm last two ground. hunts, bub, when we're picking up, it's when they all come. But you guys got to smash the thumbs up button for us. When, um, when all them ducks landed, we were literally up and walking to the side by side. We snuck back, sat down, loaded our guns, shot this mallard. He went down on the other side of the pond. Wait. We reloaded. We shot the teal. And mind you, all morning, I let Bodie shoot before me. I think you need to aim a little higher. When you're shooting on the water, bub, I think you need to aim just a hair higher. You're aiming low. Remember that seeing the splash of your pattern on the water? Just, I think you need to aim a hair higher. Your second shot on the water, remember that one over here? That one was dead on. I think yeah, you just a little bit went on the water, then some hit him. Yes. Um, but that is a pintail, a green wing tail, and a stud muffin green head. Look at him. Is it just a mallard? Yeah, that's a green headed mallard. That's a male, that's a Drake mallard, bub. Mallards are pretty. Oh boy, <laughs> picking up the decoys that floated to the other side. War, me out, we just ate some McDonald's. We are home. I'm gonna clean our three birds today. That was a cool hunt, man. That got insanely wild at the end. Um, that was crazy. Right at nine, we shot the pin tail at 8.30 by herself. She came by herself. And then we, and then two mallards came when we were picking up. I was like, yeah, forget it. I should have known that was a telltale sign that there was going to be more coming behind the two. Not even, I bet it was three, four minutes later, walking to the side of the side and I heard wings. I'm like, oh my God. I turned around and looked and literally the entire pond, they were landing everywhere. <laughs> Tons of them. That was wild, man. That is a huge mallard. That is a big stud muffin mallard, man. Beautiful bird. Green wing tail, drake mallard, pin pin tail. The mallard has duck lice. I just seen one. Be careful with the duck lice. Uh, my buddy up north in Canada, um, he's up there guiding right now. They've been shooting a lot of ducks. He actually got a duck lice in his ear. Um, I think he had to go to the doctor and get it out. He did. He thought it was duck lice in there. He knew it was an insect, but it ended up being duck lice. Had crawled up his hand, up his arm, and into his freaking ear, dude. Whoa. But Bodie wants to learn how to clean birds, so Daddy's going to show him how to clean birds. I cannot. Probably can't do that here on the video. <laughs> Never been able to do that. Whenever I do that, they ixnay the monetization. But, yeah, Frederico, he did good today. That's a good boy, good water boy. Here's Judgey boy. He wants to go hunting. He loves to go hunting, but he doesn't like retrieving live floppy birds, do ya? I know. You're a good boy. Yeah, he's a sweet little guy. But I really appreciate you guys being here with us. Um, this is a very, 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 uh, the most special time um, in videos here on the channel. Um, you know, it was special, very special opening the guide service when we did. It's always special with clients. The solo hunts are special, the public hunts are special, but 
any hunt with my son is by far the most special, especially right now. It's all the beginning ones. It's all the firsts. Hope you guys are enjoying them. Subscribe if you haven't, but until next time.